and look at that. So if you have been following my channel for some time, then you probably know that my uh, 2080 Ti Kimpin card, which I used for the uh, 2700 MHz Port Royal uh, record video, went bad during this last spring, I think it was in April. So the card's input fuse at the bottom edge of the card's PCB had blown during the session when I was just about to run Port Royal and the card didn't give any voltage anymore uh, on none of the, uh, I mean on any of the voltage rails so it just was like pretty much dead and I noticed it when I measured the uh, uh, fuse resistance and it was uh, infinite pretty much so I sent the card back to EVGA labs in Taipei, Taiwan I, I, I sent the card back in just a simple package with uh, without any heat sinks or anything, so just naked card, naked PCB, and the guys over there had a look at the card, mainly Kimpin, and they uh, found out quite quickly that the card's GPU was uh, damaged. The reason be behind it is uh, not certain, maybe it was just bad luck, I don't know. I'm usually quite uh, careful with the uh, actual preparation, so I wouldn't think the reason behind the card getting damaged would be uh, like moisture but it could be condensation because I was doing many uh, rapid test sessions with very short breaks in between the actual uh, runs so uh, the chance of condensation could be uh, possible but the way it went bad was quite clear to me so it the card shut down just when I was when I was about to run the test, so uh, maybe just bad luck, I don't know, but well, these things happen, so I would say it's bad luck, but now I got the card back with GPU replaced, so it's actually still the same actual card, so same PCB as originally, with just the GPU replaced and confirmed working. So let's have a look at the card itself with the GPU replaced, how it looks like, and I will then show you how the card actually runs. So yeah, technically you can repair these cards, even at home if you have the uh, suitable equip uh, equipment, and if you have some <laughs> extra 2080 Ti GPUs lay laying around as spares, then sure, you could replace these yourself. But anyway, so let's have a look at the actual card and what came inside this uh, plastic bag. So yeah, sorry, the uh, 2080 Ti Kimpin does not come with partially lapped 10980XC Cascade Lake X, but yeah, this should, this should be another CPU for me to try, so this one should be better than the previous one, because the previous one was very very bad, only uh, 5.7 R15 on LM2, something like that, so it's not good at all. So this one should be 6G plus for 3D like Fire Strike and similar. Just need to finish, just need to finish the uh, lapping process uh, manually, sadly. So that's some extra work. Then we have uh, one extra uh, mounting plate for the uh, Tech9 Icon plus the uh, mounting screws. I'm not sure if these are the longer ones to be used with the uh, GPU Inferno because it takes quite a bit of length when you use the Inferno backplate with quite thick thermal pad. And here's the card itself. And well, that looks very, very good if you ask me. So, can see that it's obviously been used. So, you can see some uh, like some uh, dirt on top of the memory chips but the GPU is brand new it's hard to see but I don't really see any uh, Vaseline remnants on top of the card's PCB some uh, sticker there oh well can see some like some oilish stuff or some like residues over there but overall looks good to me so yeah the GPU has been labeled 85, not sure what that means. And the sticker over here, it says 
Classy 2235 14. Well, wind said it should be close to 2250 on stock cooler. So let's so let's have a look at the card with my own water block attached and of course the heat sinks attached and see how it performs. If it does 2250 on my water cooling loop, that's definitely awesome. So then I could try and see how it will how well it will do on LN2, but really the the thermal paste cracking on these cards is so annoying that it ruins most of the fun because I think you actually have to lap the GPU for that purpose. But yeah, so let's set up the heat sinks and mount the water block and let's see how the card runs. So this is running uh, 2250 core, something like this, and 2070 on the memory. Memory voltage is at stock. Also the score is 10,774. Max core was 2265 and 2070 on the memory. And max temperature 47 degrees Celsius. So yeah. Really, really good card. I would say it's a bit better than the previous GPU. So this GPU seems to be a little bit better. Can run uh, like 30 to 40 megahertz higher core on water, even with less V core on the GPU. So uh, I have very high hopes that this should do good on LN2. We will see that out soon. But other than that, so if you like to see this experiment on uh, repairing a damaged 2080 Ti Kim pin, so replacing the GPU on the card, then definitely give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The uh, repair process is something you could, at least in theory, do at home because, uh, well, if you had BGA soldering uh, equipment and spare GPUs laying around you could do it in theory but in practice pretty much no because we don't have spare GPUs laying around and the whole process is very very uh, delicate and difficult but anyways so thanks for watching this uh, short repair video and testing the card and uh, I will see you on the next one